Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how our character might be destroyed, maybe by a bullet, maybe by an enemy sprite, or maybe simply if it falls to the ground. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So right now, if we just preview this and just watch to see what happens, if we do actually let him fall to the ground here, you can see that it just looks like he keeps falling and falling and falling and nothing happens in the game. Remember that computers aren't very smart. We have to tell it exactly what to do. So if we want the character to die, if it falls to the bottom, then we have to set that up in the game. So let's go take a look at how to do that. First thing is we are going to double click somewhere in the open space here and we are going to create a sprite. So I'm going to click on sprite. We're going to go insert and then we're going to put it in somewhere down on the floor down here um, and what we're going to do is let's say we'll pick red that's already picked i'm going to click on this rectangle here and i'm just going to draw a thin rectangle like this i'm going to go crop and then what i'm going to do is click on this here this is the image point, and we'll talk more about image points later on, but we're going to click on this image point, and I'm going to put it right on the top of the red bar like that. You can see it there. It's just a tiny dot, so it looks like that. So um, I'm going to call this bottom just to show that, yes, this is on the bottom, and we're going to keep the rest the same. I'm going to close this so you can see it now down on the bottom of the screen. What I can do is I can stretch that all the way across because we want to have at any point that he falls to the bottom that he will die. In other words, he will be destroyed. We can adjust this here. You can actually make this um, invisible. Um, you can figure out how to do that. For, for now, I just want you to see how this works. So um, now if we play it, that is not going to do anything. We have to go to the event sheet um, to make this work. So we're going to go to the event sheet. I'm going to click on add event. And we are going to say when the main character, we're going to go next. And we're going to say when it is on collision with another object. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to go next. And then the object, I'm going to click and choose it. Um, here it is here. Um, it's Sprite. We'll rename that to bottom. So when it collides with that, and we'll say done, then we want it to be destroyed. Our character is going to die. So we're going to go add action, and we have to tell it that main character. We're going to go next, and we're going to say when it hits that, the action is that character is going to be destroyed. So we're going to go miscellaneous, destroy, next, and there. We've got that. Um, it didn't rename here. Let's just rename this here. We'll call this bottom so we don't get the sprites mixed up. It renames it here, so that looks good. So when the main character collides with that red bar, then it will be destroyed. So let's go preview. Let's see if that works. So if we move, we're moving to the left, moving to the right. Everything seems to be working. If we do fall, then yes, the character is destroyed. It does disappear. Um, we could do something different, whatever you want to do, um, but there, at least it is being destroyed. So that's how you can have your main character be destroyed. If it's hit by a bullet, let's say, we could do the same thing, or an enemy sprite, or if it falls off the platform. So that's it for this tutorial. Try this and do the same thing for your game. That's it. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.